Hello everyone, I have a brand new knife on the table for you today. Today we are taking a look at the Kershaw Leak. And this leak right here is brand new for 2021 from Kershaw. And so what they essentially did is they took their very sought after random leak blade shape and they decided to release two new variants of the leak with it. And what's really nice about this particular run of knives, according to their Instagram, this is not a limited run. This is not a limited release. This version of the leak is going into full production and should be available at knife dealers everywhere pretty soon, if not now, as you're seeing this. So really nice because the random leak blade shape, which is this reverse tanto tip, has been very sought after by the community. And essentially, whenever Kershaw releases a variant of it, they sell out very, very quickly. And so it's nice to see a version of this knife come in at, at a production time. So essentially, we're going to see more of these available. And so we're going to be able to get easy access to them. This particular one I picked up the second I saw it was available. And essentially, because I was thinking, oh my gosh, they released a random link. I better get one now. And uh, they initially announced this through an email that I got, and then not too long after, it started popping up on their social media sites. So they do say it is on route to dealers, so definitely keep an eye out there. But essentially, what makes this shape particularly sought after is this random leak tip. This reverse tanto tip um, tends to be a little bit more robust than the standard leak. And as a result, people want this particular blade shape more than any other. And so there have been limited runs of this knife. This is actually the second random leak I've owned. Uh, the original one I purchased actually back in 2013 when they released it in G10. So the G10 version, however, was a liner lock. And I'm not a huge fan of the leak as a liner lock. Uh, not exactly sure why. Maybe just the thickness or how the action works. I wasn't a fan. So I eventually sold that one off. And I've been looking for a version of this knife ever since. Um, also recently, Kershaw has released a random leak with yellow handles and yellow aluminum handles. And that one was also a liner lock version. But what we have out now are two versions of the random leak. This one here with a black wash finish, as well as a version that has kind of a more bead blast uh, gray uh, finish. So maybe that titanium nitride coating. I didn't look exactly at the specs. I'm betting it's bead blasted, however. And so I'll put up a picture of it right here. Uh, but what, the reason why I chose this particular version, I do like the black wash coating by Kershaw, and this one's very heavily black washed. So you can see a lot of character in that handle, a lot of the scratching that is characteristic of black wash. Taking a look at the clip, you can see the logo, but it's almost invisible without the light directly on it because there's so much uh, finish on it, so much of the blasted finish. And so I wanted to make a quick comparison as well. Uh, because I do have one other black wash knife from Kershaw. This is the link right here. And so they're both black wash knives, but the, look at the blade finish essentially on the link versus the leak. So we can see the link. It's kind of hard to pick up in the light, but the link is a lot smoother of a black wash. And so if you're looking for a really rough finish, then the new random leak is what you're looking for. So you can kind of see in right there in the light, taking a look at the two finishes in comparison, very, very different, even though they're technically both black washed knives. Really, really nice that to see Kershaw, you know, following consumer demand and releasing a very sought after blade shape. This particular steel is a Sandvik steel blade. And so we can definitely probably expect higher end versions of this as well eventually. But I'm just glad to get this blade shape out there so that everyone can get one. And um, I, I suppose if you're a collector of this shape and you were hoping for them to hold on to their value, that might not be the case anymore. But even so, some of the earlier variants were different blade steels, different handle materials, different colors. So I think there's still a lot of collectability for those of you who have the, the random leak already. Uh, but this just essentially makes it available for the masses, and that's an awesome, awesome deal. So very happy that Kershaw is doing this. Um, this particular version of the knife is the 1660 RBW, essentially um, basic Kershaw box there. But if you have any questions about the random leak or anything that you see on this video, feel free to leave a comment below. Very happy to share that with you. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.